Stoats Farm in honor of National Dairy Month. And Gary Thompson is here and he's going to tell us more. First of all, how did you get into dairy? Well, it's a good question. I'm a second generation dairyman. My father, along with a partner, started the dairy in 1980. At the time, it was milking 500 cows. Uh, today, we're up to milking 9,000 cows. Yeah, they're so, actually around us, yep. giving you lots of One love. Of them's on me. <laughs> right? They're giving you lots of love. How many cows do you have? We have total about 18,000 head. 9,000 of them are milking. Wow, that's crazy. And how many gallons do you produce a day if each cow does about 10 gallons? We produce about 90,000 gallons of milk a day on our dairy. 90,000 gallons of milk. Where does it go? It all goes to uh, Tempe. We have a milk cooperative called the United Dairymen of Arizona. Um, in Tempe, it gets made into either fluid milk or it can be made into yogurt, butter, uh, cheese, any other dairy products, or we can powder it to conserve it and to ship it all over the country. That's really interesting because I don't think people realize that, you know, this farm, these cows, this may be your gallon of milk tomorrow. Yep, our milk will get milk from the cows and within a day and a half it'll be in the stores for the consumers to have. And it's a lot of local stores here in the valley. A lot of local stores. We got Bashes, Fries, Safeway, Shamrock, uh, those are where all of our milk goes to. Once you have the milk and, and it gets shipped to Tempe, a day and a half, it's in the stores. A day and a half, that's, that's very important to us as dairymen. Uh, we wanna provide the most safe product that, that we can and also a highly nutritious product. We want it to be fresh, local. Uh, most of the dairies that deliver to the grocery stores in the state are all very local to the Phoenix area. So a day and a half, that's very important to us. And a lot of people may not realize just how important that is to the Arizona economy. Yeah, so on this dairy itself, we employ about 165 employees. Um, besides that, there's a lot of support industries. Uh, we have our veterinarian work, our nutrition work, the machinery for the tractors, the semis, the trucks. We have all the people at the bottling plants, uh, the truck drivers that come out here to haul the milk to the plant. So it is very essential to the Arizona economy. Yeah, absolutely. And you also do a lot for the environment. Something really interesting too. Tell me about that. Okay, so about four years ago, we installed a methane digester. And what it is, is the affluent that comes off of our dairy, the water goes into a lagoon. There's methane that comes off of this water. So what we did is installed a rubber membrane over this lagoon. It's about 12 acres in size. It captures all the methane and uses it, runs it through a generator to create electricity. So the electricity that comes off of this system can provide enough power to power 443 homes. Wow, it's so. just amazing what you're doing for Arizona. And I'm just wondering, do these cows know you? Because they're giving you <laughs> lots of love today. <laughs> they do know me. I, I spend every day out here with them, so. Yeah, um, you say you get up at four in the morning. Yep, four in the morning, go home about six in the afternoon. So it's uh, a passion that we have to be with our cows. These cows are our livelihood. Uh, we do everything we can to make them happy and comfortable. Yeah, well, they're very happy, and that's Bessie and, and Bessie <laughs> and Nellie, I think. All right, well, again, everybody, we're here at Stoats Farm. Learn more about them by going online. You can always go to ArizonaMilk.org.